Can the U.S. Navy's secret weapon really turn the sea red in 30 seconds? In today's episode, we're zeroing in on the high-stakes chess game being played out between the U.S. and China, two global powerhouses vying for dominance on the world's oceans. At the heart of this maritime rivalry are the naval capabilities of both nations and how the U.S. Navy is stepping up its game with some revolutionary responses to the challenges posed by China's rapid military expansion. As we delve into this topic, think of the U.S. Navy as a seasoned quarterback facing off against a formidable defense in the form of China. China's Navy. Just when the game seems locked, the U.S. brings out a secret play, a laser technology so advanced it could potentially take down its rival in a matter of seconds. Today, we'll uncover how this tech works, why it's such a game changer, and whether it can truly give the U.S. the upper hand in this oceanic tug of war. So buckle up as we take a deep dive into the tactics, tensions, and tech that could shape the future of waters. China's push to amplify its naval prowess is a clear signal that its ambitions stretch far beyond its own shores. Sporting a fleet that includes state-of-the-art aircraft carriers and an impressive lineup of missiles, China is staking its claim as a front-runner in the race for control over international waters. Yet, this growing power isn't going unchecked. The U.S. Navy is in full swing, pioneering breakthroughs in technology that seemed more like science fiction until now. Enter the era of high-powered laser systems. This isn't your typical sci-fi movie gadget, but a reality crafted to shield the U.S. fleet from the new breed of threats. These lasers aren't just flashy new toys, they're a direct response to China's development of nuclear-capable hypersonic weapons. Missiles so swift, they make a speeding bullet seem slow, dodging past missile defenses with ease. The U.S. Navy's laser technology is like having an ace up their sleeve, offering a chance to neutralize these threats swiftly and efficiently. As we shift our focus to the South China Sea, the plot thickens in this global drama. This area isn't just another stretch of ocean, it's a pivotal battleground where China has been actively bolstering its military might. The Spratly and Paracel Islands have turned into chess pieces in a complex game of regional dominance. Here, China has set up sophisticated military bases at key locations like Subi, Mischief, Fiery Cross, and Woody Island. These aren't just dots on a map, they're fully equipped fortresses floating on the sea, complete with the capabilities to manage sleek military aircraft and sustain substantial operations for missiles, radars, and helicopters. This strategic move by China is not just about showing off its military clout, it's a clear chess move that extends its influence and intimidates its neighbors. By fortifying these islands, China is effectively stretching its arms across this crucial maritime zone, posing a direct challenge to U.S. interests and the security of regional allies. Each base is a link in a chain that forms a formidable barrier, complicating the freedom of navigation and the balance of power in the waters that many consider the lifeline of Southeast Asia. The rapid pace of China's technological advances in missile technology has turned up the heat in this global arms race, particularly with the introduction of hypersonic missiles that travel faster than Mach 5. This isn't just a small step up in speed, it's a giant leap in military capability. These missiles zoom through the atmosphere at speeds so high they can cross the distance from New York to Los Angeles in less than an hour. Imagine the implications for national defense systems that were designed for slower, more predictable threats. This startling development has caught the full attention of the U.S. Department of Defense, prompting them to spotlight China as the top strategic competitor in their 2022 report. The existence of these ultra-fast weapons has shattered previous defense strategies and technological developments. The U.S. isn't just playing catch-up, it's looking to innovate beyond traditional defense mechanisms. By pushing the boundaries of technology, the U.S. aims to ensure that its defense systems are not only responsive, but also proactive in neutralizing threats that could travel faster than anything we've seen before. Now let's turn our attention to a true titan of the ocean, the USS Gerald R. Ford. This isn't just any ship. It's the largest and most expensive warship ever constructed, with a staggering price tag of over $13 billion. Picture this colossal vessel weighing a hefty 97,000 tons and towering more than nine stories high above the waterline. It's like a floating city with a powerhouse under the hood, powered by advanced nuclear reactors that enable it to glide through the oceans with the ease of a shark cutting through water. As it majestically sails amid rising global tensions, the USS Gerald R. Ford 
isn't just about muscle and might, it's a floating fortress equipped with a vast flight deck that can host up to 90 aircraft. This incredible capability isn't just impressive, it catapults the USS Ford into a league of its own, with air power that eclipses that of over 60 countries combined, responding to the growing threats with unmatched power and presence. The USS Gerald R. Ford isn't just a massive vessel, it's a nerve center for some of the most advanced warfare technology you can imagine. This carrier isn't roaming the seas alone, it's at the heart of a strike group that includes cruisers, destroyers, and sometimes even submarines. Together, they're equipped with cutting-edge radars and weapon systems, ready to detect and engage threats from over 200 miles away. One of the standout systems on board is the Phalanx CIWs, an automated turret that fires at incoming threats at unbelievable speeds, coupled with newly integrated laser technologies that redefine maritime defense. During recent battle system trials, the USS Ford flexed its defensive muscles, showcasing its ability to thwart sophisticated aerial and surface attacks. This demonstration wasn't just a trial, it was a clear message that this ship and its crew are battle-ready, capable of defending themselves and projecting power with unprecedented precision. Facing the rapid evolution of hypersonic weapons, the US Navy has turned to something straight out of a sci-fi movie, lasers. But these aren't just any lasers, they are high-tech defense tools capable of intercepting threats at the speed of light. These systems are a game-changer in more ways than one, not only because they can zap out incoming threats with precision, but also because they are incredibly cost-effective compared to traditional munition. It's like replacing costly artillery shells with a power source that just needs a flip of a switch. Switch. The Navy's arsenal includes the SEQ-3 laser weapon system, already tested aboard the USS Pont, which marks the beginning of this revolutionary defense strategy. But the ambition doesn't stop there. Plans are underway to deploy a much more formidable 300 kilowatts laser system designed to bolster the fleet's defenses against increasingly complex threats. This leap in laser technology is not just about keeping pace with adversaries, ensuring the Navy stays several steps ahead in the arms race. As we peer into the future of naval warfare, it's clear that the U.S. Navy is not just participating in the race of military technology, it's intent on leading it. With the horizon set on testing 1 megawatt lasers, the stakes are high, but the potential is staggering. These aren't just incremental upgrades, they're monumental leaps in defensive capabilities. The vision is to arm billion-dollar carriers with a shield so robust that modern threats like hypersonic missiles would be neutralized with the same ease as swatting flies. This isn't just about maintaining the status quo but revolutionizing it, ensuring that these modern leviathans of the sea do not succumb to the same fate as the battleships of yore. The journey toward these advancements is not just formidable, it's absolutely fascinating, promising a future where naval supremacy is underpinned by the best that technology has to offer, safeguarding peace and security across the world's oceans. We're truly living in the era of futuristic warfare, where technology is pushing the boundaries of what's possible on the battlefield. Each new advancement reshapes the strategic landscape, testing the balance of power as the globe's most powerful navy's jockey for supremacy. In this high-stakes game, innovations like laser defense systems and hypersonic weapons are not just tools but game-changers that redefine how conflicts are fought and won. As we witness these technological leaps, it's clear that the quest for dominance on the high seas is as intense as ever, driving nations to not only adapt but innovate at an unprecedented pace. The future of naval warfare is not just about projecting power, but also about pioneering the technologies that can secure peace and stability across the world's most crucial maritime corridors. For more insights into military technologies and strategic analyses, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any updates from our channel. Thanks for watching, and to watch the latest update on military technology, click here.